The camera keeps moving. It's going sideways. It's just, it won't be straight. hello everyone welcome back to a new manga video i hope you guys are doing okay as you guys already saw on the title i will be sharing with you guys my top five favorite manga of last year 2021 so without any further ado let's get started as i was trying to come up with uh, the the list for this video I noticed that I didn't read a lot of shoujo because it there's a series that has kept my attention throughout since since the day was released and that is Jonah of the Dawn that's the first volume and the second volume what is Jonah of the Down about? I think this one is a favorite for a lot of people, but if you don't know about it, let me tell you. In this story, we follow Jonah, Jonah, a pampered princess, but soon she will she will have to leave the palace because there's a family drama, there's an assassination within the palace, and she has to fight for her life as soon as she leaves the palace. We see her grow as a character and stop, and she stops being a na navy princess. We also have a couple of other characters, which is Hawk, the one that's in the second uh, volume. We can see him there. Uh, Hawk is her bodyguard and is also the love interest. But we also have other characters like the dragons which are part of a legend that will help bring peace to the kingdom okay moving on to the shonen uh, genre i have one that's i think it has become a lot of people's favorite which is a spy and family the first and the second volume so like i said i think this one is a well-known one it's a favorite one for a lot of people i mean it has action comedy who wouldn't like who wouldn't like it so if you guys have not read it let me tell you what this story is about we follow twilight he's a spy and for his new mission he needs a team a family team so in comes anya the daughter and the mom yor the thing is, Anya is a telepath and Yor is an assassin. So not your typical family, everyday family. Even though uh, Anya knows the secret uh, identities, I guess, of Yor and Twilight, Twilight and Yor are completely oblivious to the other's uh, job real job she gets involved on both of their jobs with uh, twilight being a spy and your being an assassin as she can read their minds and their thoughts she's always coming up with <laughs> really random conclusions which uh, leads anya to some really dangerous situations but you're having such powerful parents she never really gets hurt and it's a really good uh, manga. It has action, it has comedy, it has Anya, which she makes this entire series really wholesome. And I'm going to stop talking here or else I won't be able to hold back and tell you guys spoilers for this series. But yeah, I hope you guys, if you guys haven't read this one, please give it a read. It will not disappoint. It's really good. The comedy is it's it's just great it's great let's move on to the comedy slice of life i feel like even though this one does have a lot of uh, fans 
I don't see it being recommended a lot. I feel like it's not it's not being recommended as it should be. And the one that I'm talking about is The Way of the House Husband Volume 1. And here we have Volume 2. So, what is this story about? This one, this manga, The Way of the House Husband, is amazing. I love it. Like I said, it's a slice of life. It has comedy. So, in this story, we follow the daily life of a ex Jakusa member. He, we see him taking care of his household. He cleans his house. He does the cooking. He does the laundry. And we just see him on a day-to-day -day -day basis. So because of the way he looks, he sometimes gets the attention of the police. So the police sometimes see him and they're thinking he's up to no good. But in reality, he's just going to uh, the supermarket to grab his ingredients for dinner and all of that I, this one is a really good one if you just want to relax uh, have a good time don't think about anything this one is the one i would recommend it's amazing i recommend it a lot you should read it go and read it actually if you are going to read any of these uh, mangas that I'm talking about right now, it should be this one. We have another slice of life. If you are looking for the definition of wholesome, this is the one. I'm talking about BL Metamorphosis. I hope I'm pronouncing that right volume one and volume two so if you guys have not heard of this story or if you have heard about it or are interested in reading it but you're not sure if it's your cup of story let me tell you what this story is about again if you are looking for wholesomeness this is the one this story follows Ichinoi a grandma living a peaceful day-to-day -day life one day she goes into a bookstore and she buys a book when she gets home she starts reading it and she ends up it turns out she ended up buying a BL story she's fascinated she's like where has this been all my life which I relate to when I first read BL she goes back to the store and in that store she meets Ura Urara yeah Urara she's she urara works at the store she's a bl fan she's <laughs> she she reads bl urara i mean and they start a really wholesome friendship as urara starts to introduce ichinoi into the bl world and it's really wholesome you get to see them interact in a really cute way uh, it's kind of like a grandma and their daughter type of situation and I really really like every interaction they have like I said this is a slice of life so nothing really like out of this world happens but I think it's a really good story again if you just want to read something that's relaxing that doesn't have a lot of action that doesn't have you thinking a lot uh, it's it this one is a really good story if you are interested in starting to read BL, if you're a newbie to BL, or just, or if you're a newbie to manga, this one is a really good manga to start up with, in my personal opinion. It's really good, it's really wholesome, <laughs> and I really like it. I really, really recommend it, this one for anyone actually anyone can read this one and let's move on to the last one and we are to the fifth 
manga series that I really like and it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't talk about BL so this story that I have the last one was my favorite BL of that I read uh, last year it was actually really hard to choose just one for this video i could make an entire video talking about all the good bl that came out last year but if i would have done that this video would have been three hours long so so i don't bore you guys i decided to just make it one and it's cherry magic 30 years of virginity can make you a wizard so if you are looking for a funny cute read and not really your typical bl story i think this is the one for you so in this story we follow adachi who is a 30 year old man who has never had any spice in his life so he gets a random power gifted to him by the goddess of love his power is to read uh, people's minds when he gets uh, close to them mainly just when he touches a person he can read their thoughts so with this new power he gets a little peek into a co-worker's thoughts and guess what that co-worker is kurosawa and he is your typical handsome popular everyone wants with him type of character and when adachi bumps shoulders with him inside the elevator he gets to us uh, read his thoughts and what he finds out blows his mind which is that urosawa has kurosawa i mean has a crush on someone so Adachi is like, oh my god, I wonder who who this person is, who's the lucky lady. Little does Adachi know is that Kurosawa has a crush on him. So after Adachi learns this tiny little detail, he he's <laughs> he, I'm sorry, I just remember something. Oh my god he just he doesn't know what to do he feels like he has to keep away from kurosawa and he's like he's like panicking and it's just it's funny and it's really cute i feel like it sometimes gives me secondhand embarrassment but it's it's a really good story it has comedy again what's up with me in the comedy I read a lot of comedy last year. Yeah. Overall, it's a really cute story. Again, now you're typical with the whole power, unless you're reading a fantasy wheel, right? But I think it's really, it's really good. Um, I really recommend this one. I think this one would be really good for anyone that's trying to start in the BL uh, world and is doesn't know where to where to begin i think this one might be a really good way to start in my again in my personal opinion i do um do keep in mind that this one is a 18 plus manga so if you are on the range please do not read it if you guys would like me to recommend be all mangas that are for all ages please let me know down in the comments below and i would gladly do it i don't want anyone to end up being traumatized like it happened to me when i first started out reading bl anyways we have reached the end for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys liked it and i hope you guys had have some new manga recommendations and if you were interested in reading any of these mangas i have now pushed you in that direction for you guys to read it anyways i hope uh, you guys have an amazing week an amazing month an amazing day and take care 
and I will see you all on my next video. Bye bye.